So the reduced to trial was asking an important question, and that question had until the study was not determined. The question is, if you take a group of patients, these were patients that have high triglycerides uh, and have either heart disease or had diabetes and other risk factors, can um, this uh, concentrated, purified, icosapentanoyl uh, ethyl compound, also known as EPA, can that reduce the risk of cardiovascular events in people with either established disease or at high risk? Well, uh, the results we think were quite surprising in as much as that prior studies in this space, the cholesterol lowering space, have shown that it is very difficult to reduce risk of future events in people who already have established statin background. So that's the first thing we've understood because there have been a number of trials that have had negative results. So you put somebody on medication such as niacin or a fibrate has a nice effect on lowering triglycerides, for example, but no benefit. So the first study to show benefit was with uh, a cholesterol-lowering medication known as azetamide. It showed about a 6% reduction on top of a statin. And then more recently, the injectable PCSK9 inhibitors have shown about a 15% reduction in events. Now, neither of those studies showed any benefit with respect to cardiovascular death reduction. So reduce it now shows not only a 25% reduction in risk of future events, but also a 20% lowering of cardiovascular death. So in this space, in the statin error, this is the first study to show a benefit on cardiovascular death on top of the 25% reduction in MACE events. Yeah, I think this would have a, a pretty significant effect on the way we practice medicine. I like to, to kind of compare this to when the 4S trial, this is the first large clinical trial with statin therapy, with simvastatin therapy, came out almost 25 years ago. And when that study came out, uh, Michael Brown, who won the Nobel Prize with Goldstein, said this was like when Babe Ruth pointed to center field in Chicago against the Chicago Cubs and showed, uh, you know, this magical risk reduction here that was going to be a home run. In the same way, this study is a home run because it shows for the first time that in people with high risk, these are people with high triglycerides and diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and, and other risk factors, have a big time event on top of a statin in reducing risk.